Oh, write it up above your heart and call it out the sun and moon to all true Irish men on earth. A rest or death comes later soon. Some boy will whistle 98 one Sunday night in College Green. And such a broth of love and hate were stirred their Monday morn was late. A Dublin town I'd never seen. And godlike forces shocked and shook through Irish hearts that lively day. And hope it seemed no will could brook. Christ for that liberty they took. There was the ancient deuce to pay. The deuce in all his bravery, his girth and gall grown no whit less. He swarmed in from the fatal sea with pump of huge artillery and brass and copper haughtiness. He stormed up all the town with guns that roared loud sounds to fire and death. And houses hailed down granite tongues to smash the wounded underneath. And when at last the golden bell of liberty was silenced, then he learned to shoot extremely well at unarmed Irish gentlemen. Oh, where were Michael? and Gold Mall, and Seamus, and my drowsy self. Why did fate brought us from the scroll? Why were we left upon the shelf, fooling with trifles in the dark, when the light struck so wild and hard? Sure, our hearts were as good a mark for Tommy's up before the lark, at rifle practice in the yard. Well, the last fires are trodden down, our dead are rotting fast in line. We can all sneak back into towns, prevail about as in old time, and stare at gaps of grey and blue where lower Mount, Mount Street used to be, and where flies hung round mucks we know for Abbey Street and Eden Key. And when the devils made us wise, each in his own peculiar hell, for desert hearts and drunken eyes were free to sentimentalize by corners where the martyrs fell.